Beardo Benjo. Gorilla Tag is probably the strangest game I've played in VR ever, I think. I have a great time every time I jump in and play it. There's no doubt about that. I always leave with a big smile on my face, I have a laugh, and I work up a sweat. That game's quite intense. Constantly swinging your arms is, is a workout. But the one thing I'm realizing the more and more I return to Gorilla Tag is no one's really playing tag. The tag part, the game part, is such a small aspect of what's making this game popular. People are using Gorilla Tag as a social space. It's just somewhere to hang out, somewhere to talk to other players, have a laugh, run around and do silly things. The game part, the tag part, is so inconsequential. And that's really interesting to me, mainly because they've just added custom maps and the ability to mod in and add custom maps to Gorilla Tag, whether you're playing on PC VR or on the Quest. Today I'm going to have a little look at some of those custom maps because they are from some of my favourite games of all time, things like Mario 64, Doom and The Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time. Yes, you can now run around in areas from those games in Gorilla Tag. I'm honestly really curious and excited about the prospect of Gorilla Tag evolving into more of a social space. It already feels like that to me now, but with the addition of all these custom maps, that's exciting. Let's jump in and have a look at some of these custom maps that are available now. As I say, if you want to do this, you can. It works on Quest and on PC VR. If you're playing on Quest, you do need access to a PC to get all this set up, but the instructions and the links and the downloads are all in the description down below. So check them out and do it at your own risk. You are modding the game. So if you do it wrong, you might get banned. Let's check out some Gorilla Tag custom maps. Now, before I get stuck in and show you some of these fantastic custom maps, let me just give you a really quick rundown and guide of how to do this yourself if you want to play custom maps in Gorilla Tag. I'm sure if you're here watching this video, you probably want to do that. So this is what you need to do. There's three things you need to have to get this to work. The first thing is a PC. You need access to a PC to download the modding tools. The second thing is a cable to connect your Quest 2 to the PC. And the third thing is of course a Quest 2 with a copy of Gorilla Tag already downloaded and installed. If you have those three things, you're good to go. All of the links you're gonna to need to pull this off are down in the description below. So jump down there and check if you do get stuck. Right, let's get started. Step number one, load up gorillatagmodding.burrito.software. That's a website that you'll be seeing behind me here on the screen right now. Once you get to that website, on the left-hand side, you'll see Quest Modding and you'll see Beginner's Guide. If you click Beginner's Guide, you'll come to this page that we're looking at right now. The first thing you need to do is install Java on your PC. If you don't have Java, this will not work. To install Java, follow the download link right here. Following that link will take you to this site here where you can download Java. Just click this agree and start free download icon here and that will download the software. Once it's downloaded, follow the steps and get it set up on your PC. That's all you need to do. Just follow the installer through to the end. Very, very simple. Once you've downloaded Java and installed that, the next step is to download Quest Patcher. Now Quest Patcher is the tool that will actually update and change your version of Gorilla Tag to allow you to mod it. Once again, there is a link right here on Gorilla Tag modding.burrito.software, follow that link and you'll see this page here. Now this is the Quest Patcher tool. The part you need to download is the Windows Installer.exe. Click that to start the download and away we go. Once you've downloaded Quest Patcher, you should see this Windows Installer sitting in your downloads folder. Double click that to start the setup process and just follow the instructions through until the end once it's set up on your PC. Now don't run the file straight away. First, you need to plug in your Quest 2. Connect your Quest 2 to your PC via cable and then open the newly installed Quest Patcher software. So at this point, you should have Gorilla Tag installed on your Quest 2 plugged your Quest 2 into your PC and then open Quest Patcher. If you've done all that correctly, you should see this right here and it should say your app is installed, patch my app. Click on patch my app 
and then let the Quest Patcher do its work. It will start updating and changing your version of Gorilla Tag, allowing it to be modded and changed in the future. Now this process might take a minute or two. Please do not unplug your Quest 2 from the PC while it's doing it. Just keep waiting until you see this screen right here where it says, welcome to Quest Patcher, browse for mods. And in the modding log at the bottom, it should say modding complete. Now at that point, you're good to go. You're ready to start modding. So now that we've downloaded Quest Patcher and we've updated our version of Gorilla Tag on our Quest 2, make sure the Quest 2 is still plugged into the PC because there's still a couple of things we need to do to get the custom maps into the game. The first thing we need to do is come to monkeymaphub.com, jump down to the help and facts section. You'll see this page here. Click on how do I get custom maps for Quest Gorilla Tag and follow this link here to the Quest Monkey Map Loader. Follow that link to this GitHub site here and you'll see the Monkey Map Loader mod file right here ready for you. Click it to download it. Once you've downloaded the Monkey Map Loader file, come into Quest Patcher, click Browse for Mods, find the Monkey Map Loader and double click it to install it. Now I've already installed it, so here it's telling me error while installing mod, but for you it will just load itself in and it will become one of the mods in this mod loader just here. Once you've installed the monkey map loader mod, you're now ready to install the custom maps themselves. Come back to monkeymaphub.com, find the level that you like the look of. I'm going to check out the Minecraft one just here. Click download and it will download a file. And now for the final step, once you've downloaded the map file that you want to run around in in Gorilla Tag, simply grab that file, drag it and drop it into the Browse for Mods section of Quest Patcher and it will install the map. It's really that simple. Drag the map file, drop it onto Browse for Mods and that's it. It's installed. That's how to set up the custom maps in Gorilla Tag. Once you've installed all the ones you're interested in, simply unplug the Quest from your PC, jump into Gorilla Tag and start playing. It's that easy. Every time you want new maps, simply plug the Quest back into the PC, download the new maps, drag and drop them into Quest Patcher, and it will update the game each and every time. Let's have a look at some of these maps. Hello there. Welcome to Gorilla Tag. I am the puke green or bogey green monkey. And that's the way it's going to stay. That's the way it needs to be. Welcome to Gorilla Tag. Um, this is the modded version of the game. Now, you'll probably already hear it, but the Mario 64 music, or a piece of music from Mario 64, is currently playing. And that's because we're going to go into that level. Now, if we head downstairs into the center of my lair, apologies, I'm really rubbish at moving around in this game. I don't know how people are so good at this. It freaks me out. All right. Welcome to my lair. This is my computer. Now you'll see the modded version of the computer looks a little bit different. Um, mod settings is an option I can now see and in there I can change the background of the PC. I haven't uploaded any, but you can put your own background on that PC, which is, which is pretty cool. What we're really interested in though is the map loader. If you come down to map loader, enter, these are all the levels I've currently got set up to try out. Now we're going to go into Womp's Fortress first, so enter, there it is, description, wahoo, enter, Fantastic, it's loaded. And then you use the teleporter here, and we should go to Womp's Fortress, a place that I spent much of my childhood. Okay, I think I've spawned into one of the cannons in the level. Now these are... Oh, how do I get out of here? Oh, let me out! <gasps> that is definitely Womp's Fortress. Now I don't know if there's going to be other players in here. <laughs> there might be. Um, I think... The way these mods work, or the way these custom maps work, is if there's other people that also have it installed, you'll enter into lobbies with them. I can hear people! <gasps> there's a monkey! Okay, so I'm definitely in here with other people. Other people that are playing the map are in here running around, which is which is interesting. It's nice to know that you could get your, your friends to all get the mods and you can play with them in private lobbies. Alright. Let's go. Let's go. Can I collect the coins? Can I collect the coins? <gasps> I can! <laughs> How do people move so fast? He's literally like tippy tapping the floor and he's disappearing up there. Look at it. It's, it's perfect. Right, I need to get to the top really, don't I, before I go home. Oh, look at them. There's monkeys up there already. Right. I probably won't be able to make it to the top because I'm garbage. Come on. How is everyone so good at this bloody game? 
There we go. They must have used the original... Oh! <laughs> they must have used the original assets and the original level because everything looks perfect. There we go. Now, there are levels, as I say, built um, from Doom, from Legend of Zelda. There's, there's about maybe 20 levels currently available, but there's going to be so many more now that the tools are there. I'm getting up, I'm getting up. Oh, okay. Oh, I'm doing a bit better in here than I normally do in the normal levels. I can actually climb around in here. Oh no! He says as he flings himself off the other side. I need to get to the top. Come on. Hell yes! Oh, right. I'm not quite at the top yet. Ah, can I get up there? How did that guy do it so easily? All right. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Let me up. Let me up. Oh, yes. I made it to the top of Womp's Fortress. Can you actually push that bit of wood down down there? This is amazing. This is a perfect recreation of Womp's Fortress. I say this is running natively on the Quest. I'm not running on the PC. You can mod the Quest version. You just need to download a tool to allow you to do that on the PC. And you just need to understand that it might get you banned. It probably won't. The developers of Gorilla Tag are happy for you to use mods. Things like these map mods are probably the safest mods you can use. If you start using things like Super Jump and Anti-Gravity, yeah, you're probably going to get banned because you can you can really mess up the experience for other people by using those. Oh, this is just awesome. Absolutely awesome. Right, Womp's Fortress. Can I actually knock this down? You can! So good! Right. Who's that over there? Is that a monkey over there? There's a monkey over there. Oh my god. It's got the music. <laughs> oh, this is so cool. Right. I guess, is this like a proper recreation of that first? Again, this looks identical to the game itself. Um, if you played the Dr. Beef port of Doom on the Quest, this looks identical to that. Let's have a little look, shall we? Is it exactly the same? It looks like it. Is it the whole level? Imagine how cool it would be if there was enemies in here. Yeah, I think it's the whole level. <laughs> I guess you can go out the windows, though, because you're a monkey. Yep. I could probably get up there as well. Maybe. Ah! What is that? Is that like a weird monkey? I don't like that. Why is there a weird monkey there? What are you doing? Don't like that. Don't think that's a player. It's just like a stone monkey in there. Creepy. Okay. Let's ignore that. This is the whole first level, isn't it? Yeah, this is so smart. The Gorilla Tag's going to explode with custom levels. I think there's going to be so many of them once people figure out how to do it. Right now, I guess there's only a few people making them. And it takes you back. That's so smart, right? Okay. That's Doom. Let's have a look at... Yes! Another one of my favourites. It looks like Ocarina of Time. Oh, that looks so nice! What? The music's playing as well, which is really quiet. <laughs> oh my god, this is so cool. I like how it's currently all like old school games that these maps are being built from. Um, you know, mainly Nintendo games, Mario's and Zelda's. There's quite a few Zelda maps available right now. But yeah, like like I said, it's you know, Gorilla Tag's becoming a social hub. People just kind of come in here, they don't really play tag, they just run around the level and learn how to climb and chat to each other. Um, and if we can get tons of these levels 
based on different video game properties and just 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 custom levels in general then that's that's going to make this game explode with popularity and it's already extremely popular but as like a VR chat uh, rec room replacement where you get to play as a monkey that's perfect oh can we get through there I guess we can let's go through Oh, there's a troll face. Oh my god, you can't go any further. <laughs> For God's sake. Why would they do that? Monkey over there wearing some cool clothes. He's modding. Look at that. He's got like glasses on and a coconut hat. He's living his best life. Hello, mate. <laughs> oh my god. The Deku tree. <laughs> can't move in this goddamn game. That is so good. This is the strangest thing to see, you know, one of the games I grew up playing, and it's the Deku Tree in full size. Kind of, it's, it's the right scale, I guess it would have been, when you were Link walking down, so it looks huge. And it's covered in weird monkeys, yeah, exactly, climbing all over it and just making weird monkey noises. It's an experience I didn't think I'd ever have. How far can you climb up the Deku Tree? Okay, I'm on the Deku Tree's mustache. Oh! I'm on the Deku Tree. So cool. Look at that. So that's, that shows you how much of the map has been kind of available or was already made. You can see where there is no content. Like over there, there's nothing there. Right, let's go back to the main bit. And there's a picture of the shop, so I can pretend I'm in there shopping. They've all got little pictures inside them. So cool. Oh, I'm just like a little fanboy right now, because this is, as I say, this is a favourite of mine. Oh, I can't wait to see what other games... See, this is a reason for me to come in here and play it, just to run around these levels. That's kind of how I use VR chat. I go in and I just check out the different um, environments and levels people have made. Um, because it's always impressive to me to see them. Um, I don't really use the, the... I do use the social aspect, but for me it's more of a, a kind of a tourist tool. Come on, let's go. Let's go. How the hell is supposed to get up there? I guess we jump from this. finally made it. I'm so terrible. Right. All I want to know is what's up here. That's all I want to know. What is up here? Enable particles, disable particles, music on, music off. I guess the particles are like the, the fairies flying around. And if I disable them... Oh, it, it looks much better with the particles on. Yeah, it's kind of got like a foggy effect. And there's all the kind of little... Yeah, look at it all, but you can, you can turn that off. Interesting. Alright, you can't go anywhere up here. Oh, Alright, let's find our way out of this place. I think there's an ocarina over there. Ocarina. Okay, so I touch the ocarina and I go home. Oh, so good! Right, another Zelda map now. Kakariko Village again from Ocarina of Time. It, it's, this is just glorious. If you're, I can't move. If you're a bit of a kind of a VR tourist like me and you want to see locations from games that you you played when you were younger or even just games you play now, then Gorilla Tag's kind of starting to offer that by modding in these locations. Yes, you have to get around with the crazy Gorilla Tag <laughs> locomotion, but it's, it's it's a bit of a it's a bit of a workout, you know. Oh my god, can I go up each individual rung of the ladder? I don't think I can. Come on, let me up. I don't think I can. Go, 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 go. Monkey, go, monkey. Eee! Oh, we did it. Now this level, interestingly, doesn't have any monkeys running around in it. I wonder if that's because this isn't as instantly recognisable to most people who are playing this game. 
So I was surprised to see, well, I wasn't that surprised to see people in the Mario level because that's the, probably the most recognisable. Doom didn't have anyone in there. I can see that not being particularly recognisable for the audience base for this game. But this is really abstract in terms of, if you, if you haven't played Ocarina of Time, you probably won't know where this is from. Can you go down the well? <gasps> oh! Okay, that's just a way out. Oh, I'm stuck now. Brilliant. Uh, get out, get out. Oh, look at that's the best climbing I've ever done. See, interesting, I've never really noticed these posters on here before from all the times I've played Ocarina. Oh, it's so good. I wish the chickens were here and I could put the chickens back in their, in their coop. What is that? It is a chicken. Oh! Okay, so the chicken teleports you up here. Interesting, right. Can we go anywhere in the windmill? Ah! There we go. Come on. Oh, nearly. There we go. Well, I don't think we can get in there. Bosh! Can we get to the graveyard? That's a completely separate bit, isn't it? Oh, okay. The graveyard should be over here. Oh, maybe we can. Maybe we can go to the graveyard. Oh. Fog wall. Okay, we can't go to the graveyard. That's fine. Boom, boom, boom. The more I play this game, the more I realise you just kind of have to go for it. Just smack stuff as hard as you can. Which is why, last time I played, I smashed a candle on my mantelpiece. Uh, which was fun. Alright, let's finish off with the Lost Woods. Now, I thought this was Lost Woods as in Zelda. Maybe, maybe it is, actually. I just don't think I've ever seen it from this perspective. It certainly looks... It is. It's definitely the Lost Woods from Ocarina of Time again, right? It has to be. Uh, it just looks wicked. Um, yeah, this is this is Gorilla Tag custom maps. You can get these on PC VR or on Quest. You have to download a program to your PC and then connect your Quest to your PC. The Quest obviously already has Gorilla Tag installed. Plug it in and you can patch the version of the game and it turns into a modded version. It is quite straightforward. In the link to this video, in the description to this video, sorry, I'll put the links to the website where I learned how to do it. It is very simple to do, but just do it. You know, understand that if you use the wrong mods in the wrong way, you could get banned. So just be very careful. I think using these map mods is absolutely fine. Um, it seems to be that when you use these, you're dropped into games with other people who are using these. So it's not public. It's almost like private games, but just for people who have got the mods. So you're not going to be violating any kind of um, player terms really at that point. Because as I say, the, the Gorilla Tag developers are happy with people modding the game. They just don't want people to use things like anti-gravity and <laughs> super jump and stuff in public games because that will ruin the experience for everyone. So, yeah, I think using these custom map mods ah, is absolutely fine. But just be cautious. And it can be... Oh! Looks like there's a mushroom there. When I go near it, it disappears. Yeah, it's not actually there. Um, yeah, you can get these on Quest. They run really well. And it just brings a different element to Gorilla Tag. So there you have it. You can mod Gorilla Tag to run around in some seriously cool levels from old games, uh, from places like the ISS and a volcano and New York. There's a ton of maps already. And it's, for me, this gives me reason to come in and play this game. Just to explore these levels and chat to other people. It's very, very cool. You can get this on Quest. Just use the links in the description. You need a PC to do it and a cable to link your Quest to the PC. Ugh. I am going to try and find some more maps that remind me of cool things from my youth. And uh, I'll see you all soon for another one. Take care and remember to, you know, reject humanity. Return to being a bloody monkey. I think this Doom one's probably my favourite. This or the Mario one. They're both very smart, but it's the music in this one. That kind of takes it over the edge. Ugh. What a weird weird thing to see running around in doom as an arm swinging gorilla i just never thought that'd be possible that's vr for you isn't it that's the weird stuff that vr's doing i am the champion monkey the monk slayer